Hey guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to another video. So today I have another products empties for you. I've collected a lot of products and I really enjoyed them and I did repurchase a bunch of them. So starting out, I did repurchase this baby right here. This is actually a men's shaving gel and it is the Edge brand. It's extra moisturizing with vitamin E. I do tend to use like men's shavers and shaving gels. I think I mentioned this before in one of my other videos, maybe even my last product empties. So yeah, I did go through another bottle of this, but I did also repurchase it. I love the feeling of this one because it has like cooling conditioners. So when you put this on your skin, it just feels really cool and nice. And if you have sensitive skin, this is perfect for that because your skin, if it's sensitive, of course it's going to get red and irritated and you'll get razor burn and all that stuff. And this does not do that to me. So that's why I really love this. And I did get another one. The next thing is also something that kind of incorporates with shaving is my airbrush legs from Sally Hansen. I get it in the shade Deep Glow. They do have another one that is a much lighter shade, but I prefer to get the deepest one and it does give you this kind of look. Um, I have really, really, really pale skin. You guys have probably seen in my makeup tutorials. I'm just a very pale, light-skinned girl. And I'm not into that, so I love tanning. I always self-tan. I usually will use the St. Tropez tan, but for my legs and for one of those nights where I just like totally forgot to like self-tan and I'm going somewhere and I want to be tan, this stuff is amazing. I love using it and I literally put this all over my entire body. It's just that good. And the color, I've gotten tons and tons of compliments from people from using this, so I definitely did repurchase another one and it's great, it's from the drugstore. Now this next product is not going to come to a surprise to any of my viewers, but I did go through another Purity Facial Skin Cleanser. This is by far my all time favorite, favorite facial cleanser I have ever used. As you can see, this is a ginormous bottle and I went through the entire thing. This is probably my sixth one that I've went through. I use this in the morning and night and just whenever I wanna wash my face or wash my makeup off, I will use this stuff, it is the best. And pretty much everything from Philosophy, I have to say, like, I have not liked, or I have not disliked anything from the Philosophy brand. My skin's super sensitive and will break out to anything, and nothing from Philosophy has really broken me out. So I really, really cherish Philosophy and trust it, because it's just never broken me out. Now moving on to a bunch of makeup products. The first thing being my Benefit Gimme Brow. Also repurchased another one of these. I love this stuff. I feel like it is the finishing touch to my brows. It just brings everything together and holds them in place all day long. I have a mascara, which is one of my all-time favorites. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. Love, love this mascara. I used up the entire thing. I am definitely, ha I definitely have to say this is one of my staple mascaras. I have to use this every time I coat mascara on my lashes. It just separates them and lengthens them and it's awesome. So I did purchase another one of those. And then I went through this tester of the Tarte I think it's just, maybe it's the Amazonian Clay Mascara. Um, this is just the tester of it. And it looks like this. I actually really did like this mascara, but I have so many mascaras that I didn't repurchase another one, but I did like it. And then I have another mascara, like freaking mascara hoarder over here, um, that I did repurchase another one of. This is the Jordana Best Lashed Extreme Volumizing. Love, love, love. This is also one of my favorites and I have to use it every time I coat my mascara on my lashes. So basically these two mascaras together, the L'Oreal Telescopic and the Jordana, are just amazing. This one really separates and lengthens them and then this one really volumizes them and makes them big. So power duo right here, I'm serious. And then I did go through this Milani Shadow Eyes in Champagne Toast. Um, it kind of sucked because I didn't fully go through it, but I mean, it kind of looks like this now. And I did use quite a bit of it, but I just didn't get to go to the very core because it just got destroyed for no apparent reason. So unfortunately, I probably will not repurchase, like look, the lid won't even like go on. It just keeps popping off. I probably won't repurchase these again. It didn't really stay on my eyes that long. Um, I did put it on like probably in the afternoon time and it wiped off from like 12 to like 4. So it was like 4 p.m. and I was trying to like wear this the entire day and you couldn't even see it at the end of the day and I even used primer and everything. So I don't recommend these Milani shadow eyes. I just was not a fan. And it even kind of says that it's supposed to be a 12 hour wear, but no, no. 
it did not hold for 12 hours, that's for sure. Another product for my skin is this Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Cleansing Wipes. I did really like these, but unfortunately, when I use them on my face, I think it might just be because I have really sensitive skin and whatnot, and it has a scent to it, so it did break me out. So I did not end up using these on my face after the time it broke me out, of course not. So I just used these to like wipe my hands off and stuff, like when I was getting makeup on it, or just like wipe my desk area, and I like use these as like freaking, supposed to be face wipes, but I just, I couldn't use them as my face wipes, so I use them for everything else. I did like the smell of them, because they're coconut, but it was kind of a bummer, because it says it's supposed to be natural, and all that, but it has a scent to it, and my skin hated it, so can't buy those again. Another mascara that I actually did buy a big one of, this is like a mess right now, it probably has like black stuff all over it. The little tester I was not a fan of because it was super, super messy. But this is the new Urban Decay Perversion Bigger, Blacker, and Better Mascara. I used the entire one of the tester and I fell in love with it, so I did buy the bigger one. And then I also used up this Clinique Acne Solutions Spot Healing Gel. And I did see a change in the little acne spots that I had, like that would come up, you know, for girls this time of the month. That's when I usually break out like on my chin and stuff. Sorry if that's TMI, but I totally 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 break out with like big like pimples and it'll just be like three like boom 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 I think I even have one like right now so I love using this stuff and I use the entire thing surprising that this lasted me a really long time and I used the heck out of it like I don't just use my stuff sparingly it just says like oh apply like a little pea size to your face and I like put a whole blob on my finger and just like wipe that on one little pimple and surprisingly this lasted me like a month so shocking and it actually did work so I bought a bigger one it doesn't say that it's the Clinique Acne Spot Gel. Like, you could say that to the lady and she'll know what you're talking about, but in the packaging, it does not look like that, and she said they, like, changed it and changed the name. So the formula is the same. Pick that up if you're looking for a kind of, I know it is, like, Clinique, so it's a little bit more pricey, but not too, too pricey to the point where, like, the drugstore and that product, I think, honestly, was, like, 20 bucks and it's a really good spot healing gel and then the ones at the drugstore are like $13.99 so you're paying a tiny bit more for a probably a way better product and trust me it really does work and last but not least I have two candles that I burned through this is the pink petal tea cake I did burn through another one of these I love these I have backups of these. It, it matches my bed set and I love the smell of it. It's amazing. And then I did burn through my favorite fall scent out of every single candle. Well, no, okay, I take that back. Leaves is my number one, like probably everybody else here. I'm not trying to be basic, but that's the truth. Leaves is by far my favorite. Me and my mom are obsessed. We have the candles and scent warmer things everywhere in our house. But my second favorite in the entire Bath & Body Works store is this pumpkin pecan waffles. I think it's new, like, to this year. I don't remember seeing it last year, but it smells amazing. And the little wallflower thing, I have it in my bathroom right now. Every time somebody comes in my room, they can smell it from my bathroom. And they're like, whoa, your room smells like a bakery. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a good thing, but it smells good to me, so whatever. <laughs> but it just is amazing. I love this candle and I burned through both of these. All right guys, so that is the end of my products empties. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and let me know if you decided to try any of these products that I said I repurchased. And yeah, leave video requests down below for like the fall time. I think I might be doing a fall fall morning routine and fall night routine. I've been getting a lot of requests doing that and I also changed my room a little bit and I added a brand new vanity so if you follow me on Instagram you did see a picture of it but I think if you guys want I'm doing a, well I want to do a tour of my vanity. I never did one on my last vanity, I just showed you guys my makeup collection and that also has really changed. I updated a ton of stuff and I bought a lot of new things in my makeup collection so if you guys want to see an updated makeup collection and my jewelry collection because I haven't showed you guys that yet let me know down below or like this video and the vanity tour will probably be coming too um because I haven't showed you guys yet and I'm obsessed so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a great day or night and I will see you next time bye